Everybody's Joe Roberts, one wine dude. I'm in New York with the Wines of Chile Grand Tasting event. I'm here with Fred Dexheimer, Master Sob and uh, Master of Heavy Metal. How are you, man? Awesome. Good to see you. Thank you, you for uh, thanks for coming out. That's my pleasure. I love it. I love it. I love uh, it. In fact, I, it's been a while since I've been to Chile. It's been over a year. So this is kind of a cool thing for me to get back, get my headspace back in the whole thing. And you just led a tasting master class of terroir. We went through Sauvignon Blanc, Carmenere, uh, and Syrah. So there's some very interesting stuff going on. Now, one of the cool things that you went into right, is that we got Chile. You got a map right here. It's a very, it's a very long country. So you get this sort of skinny area, you know, side area in South America. And so a lot of people figure where well, you've got desert up here in the north, so it's going to be hot up there. And you've got Going down to Antarctica as you get further south, so it's going to be cold. Now, so you think, oh, it's skinny, it's long, there's going to be a lot of variation in terms of the wine regions. But at, and this, that's true, but actually, what we, like, what we found in something you talked about when you were on stage here a few minutes ago, was that it's actually the west-east action that happens between the ocean and between the mountains, the Andes mountain range, that accounts for a lot of the, the differences, a lot of variations. One of you can kind of give us some more detail. Dude, one wine dude. You just nailed it. And, uh, okay, thank you. Good night. <laughs> no, but absolutely. You know, you have the desert up here. You know, the Elki Valley is, the, you know, basically the foot of the desert. And then Maiko, you start to go south to the, to the ice caps and to the more, um, the more um, polar areas of uh, Chile. You have the uh, Pacific Ocean, you have the mountains. And really, uh, this is like about uh, a quarter to a third. It's cut here of the whole country. And this is where the action happens. But yeah, the north to south thing versus the east to west thing is a very interesting thing. So what Chile's done is here, if you can see, we have these 14, all these different colors, which I think, you know, your audience, your audience you can see, we have all this color, color coded. But um, you can see a lot of these areas go all the way out. You know, if you look, they cover the country. You have, especially like Chihuahua here, that's 40 miles. When you get into here, it's about 100. Right. So it's a, it's a bit different. But um, what you have in Chile, really incredible, is the east-west thing. And you have the Pacific Ocean as the modifying, uh, the temperature modifier here. So it's the, I call it, you know, for, for the Americans out there, for the U.S. audience, it's, I call it the San Francisco effect. Right, you know, right like on. you know, like you're you're hanging so out. You're, like, Napa. you're like hanging out, and all of a sudden, like the sun goes down, and you're like, "Where's my sweater? Where are my jeans? Where are my wool socks?" Same thing here. The cooler comes over the end. So all of these regions are these kind of, um, you know, the, the further east of the world. Great temperature modification. And Chile has a Mediterranean climate, lots of sunlight, as you you've seen. You go there, it's beautiful. It's incredible. But um, yeah, one of the things that's been discovered now over the last decade, maybe 15 years, is going as far this way as you can go. And regions like Maipo, which is the, the you know, this is the, the, this is the Marlon Brando of Chile. This is Marlon Brando. This, 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 this is the Led Zeppelin, this is the Beatles of Chile, the Maipo here. And, uh, you know, and even they're going. To be honest, I don't understand what any of those three things are. That but the forefather of rock and roll and wine in Chile is the Michael right. Valley. And, and even here they're going this way, and that's how you develop San Antonio, and you develop Casablanca to the coast. And that's when you can have Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Syrah. This year in this interior, and both into the Andes, you have you know, the, the red grapes like Cabernet, Merlot, Carmenet that need a longer ripening season, a little bit more um, heat. And, you know, that's what's happening, but it's happening all across the country, up, down. It's all about east and west. So there you have it. You, with the terroir there, you've got mountains on one side, ocean on the other. Those breezes come in. Desert. 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 Ice cap. It's one reason why you can have Bay up here, you guys can see that, where it's not actually these sort of hot and with jammy, fruity wines. You can actually have wines that are pretty tart and with uh, a lot of acid retention yeah. because you've got that, that cool mitigation. Yeah, where this is the land of cold light, you know, it's kind of like the talking heads uh, right here. And, uh, you, know, it's, it, you know, it's really, really incredible what's happening in Chile. It's great that you've been down there. And, you know, thanks for coming out to the tasting today. 
Chile is just starting. Imagine you're a garage band. You got you were just signed to your first record deal. And, I'm in uh, one of those. Uh, Chile's been making wine for many, many years. Awesome. Uh, some great wineries, some really international wineries, foreign wineries, the UK, Europe, uh, Canada, Brazil, Asia. But to me, Chile is right now. They've just made. They, they just. They're just getting started. If you talk about radio right now. Right now, this is the other band going into OK Computer. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Oh, Radiohead fans will get a kick out of that. Yeah, man. Now, speaking of music, you've got something cool yeah. to find out that you're doing that's rock related. Why don't you tell us a little about that? Well, um, I'm a big fan. My whole life has been music. I've been a music fan since I was a kid. And uh, little did I know I'd be a sommelier in my life. And now I'm kind of going backwards. I'm getting into music and wine, and what I'm going to do is pair rock and roll and all kinds of different styles of music with wines. And what I've discovered, and what you know, is that a lot of musicians love wine. Yeah. A lot of musicians uh, own wineries, vineyards, make wine, um, invest in wineries or restaurants, food, gastronomy, whatever. And uh, what I'm going to do is do a show called Rock Your Wine World. We're going to go around the United States and meet with chefs, restaurateurs, and musicians to pair food, pair music and wine. So we're going to ask people your favorite song. What wine would you drink with Your favorite wine. What song would you listen to with me? And um, so far we've got a really good response. And we're going to start shooting next week in Brooklyn. And we're also going to start shooting at the Iron Maiden concert. And for those of you who don't know, South America, huge metal, huge jazz. So we're going to talk jazz musicians, we're going to talk metal musicians, rock musicians, pop musicians, classical musicians. One of the guys I really wanted was Itzhak Perlman. Um, you know, uh, he has a summer camp for kids. But uh, Alex Skolnick is going to be my first guest of Testament. Not only one of the greatest metal guitarists, but also jazz virtuoso. Uh, tonight he's at Lincoln Center. That's how diverse, you know, just like shit. You can be out here on the coast and have a acoustic line. You can be on the, in the mountains and make really, you know, produce the, you know, the bottom. So yeah, um, and, I, and I hope it, you know, I really appreciate what you've done and hopefully uh, it works. But everyone loves music, everyone loves wine, and everyone needs to eat. So <laughs> eat what you like, drink what you like. Listen to what you like and put them all together, and that's the guy. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, Appreciate it. You're the man. Cheers. Thanks for being in New York. Thanks, everybody.